This is identifying TV schedule by Corey Brady. All right, the uh, first day we looked into uh, because me and David both looked on the same website and we've uh, drawn our own, we've drawn the same conclusions from it and we've uh, <clears throat> looked into things. But I, this is just a way of laying it out. We started looking in, on Thursday, the second of November, which is um, uh, which is today currently. And we're just looking through the scheduling of the TV programs and what's on after 9 p.m. as we want, as our talk show, uh, well, as talk shows are hosted usually around about that time after a watershed and more aimed towards a mature-ish, mature-ish audience. And, uh, and it involves content which uh, is over the, uh, over the age of 18 or shows content that's over the age of 18. This is what was best suited for us and our idea. So, looking through it, it's pretty obvious that there's uh, quite a few shows up till 9pm that might have a following from them, like a uh, significant following. For example, um, Paul O'Grady, uh, Paul O'Grady show, uh, possibly, and the Russ Kemp Behind Bars. Uh, those type of shows would probably have a following audience from them. And so maybe on Thursday or not, we could look into doing a show around the 10 p.m. slot. But one thing to note on Thursday is that we are, we, if we were to air, we would be going up against competitions such as Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, which airs on Sky Atlantic and Question Time, which airs on BBC One, 11 p.m. Both of those, they are something worth looking into, but... We feel it's going to be a wanted competition that if we were to do it on that day, it would just seem to be people wouldn't, uh, the viewers for those type of channels wouldn't be interested. The audience from those type of channels wouldn't be interested in something like our programming. So we've uh, thus decided Thursday isn't the best day. Moving on to Friday, the 3rd of November, tomorrow. Uh, we again looked into it and we came up again with possibly some good ideas of like TV shows we could follow that we could gain an audience from that possibly might be interested. We're looking around ITV as it seems more the type of show that would uh, that would accommodate our our like programming. But as again we looked into possibly uh, what uh, what type of competition we will be coming up with, and the only one we could really find was. Uh, this week on Tempo, which is at 10 p.m., and also the Graham Norton show that would uh, air at 10 p.m. as well. And that, in our mind, was again not something we would want to go up against, or even uh, we wouldn't want to go up against it. And if we, if we tried to uh, schedule our live programming before that, we don't feel the BBC audience, BBC One audience, would really or. <clears throat> BBC One audience would really be interested in it, so to speak. So we've decided it not for Friday the 3rd of November. Saturday and Sundays, it's mostly the same. Like Again, there's a few interesting slots we could possibly follow, but as it's on the weekend and things, uh, people aren't at work, people can stay up later, this is when the shows such a... Uh, this is when talk shows start to become more present, more prevalent, and uh, it's kind of dissuading us to go down that route, as again, we're going to be put up against a lot of competition, and uh, <clears throat> we would possibly even be before uh, what's, <clears throat> we'll be put up against competition like Sky Atlantic again, which is something we don't want to do, and even though ITV are showing, or airing talk shows that day, we do not seem it would really fit if we were to do a talk show previously because again the talk sh the show that f follows behind is the x-factor well it's interesting x-factor but the audience from the x-factor to this to what our show is we don't feel would be suiting so we've opted for not doing that uh, saturday before moving on to sunday again it's like people can kind of stay up late there are like a couple of talk shows mainly from ITV and Sky Atlantic they're the main two channels which really do it apart from BBC One every now and then but as you can see like again there's the few there's the uh, channels which uh, we could possibly follow like again the X Factor but again we don't uh, we don't feel going from the X Factor to what we want to show in our programming it won't fit well because we are more aiming towards an audience which are over 18 
more interested in movies, films, and out of the box music, something you wouldn't find on X Factor. Like the genre of music, you wouldn't get it on X Factor. The genre of music we're going to be looking into is vastly different, so we feel that it's going to be a hit and miss with that audience. So, Sunday is out the question. And moving on to Monday, Monday we felt was just like, it wasn't the best because it's the first day of the week, people are going to be sluggish, and they're not going to be wanting to stay up late, they're going to be wanting to go to bed early. And But there is uh, there is also the fact that there is also a competition, especially there's a new competition from Fox, and they're showing The Talking Dead. And again, there's ITV. Uh, it doesn't show on here, but... Uh, it doesn't show on here, but at that point in time, or what the talk that talk show is on there. But if we were to look onto the previous page, it's just going to be mostly Prince Harry. And, yeah, it's going to be that type of show. And we don't feel, again, going before that or after would help us in any way whatsoever. It's the audience type isn't what we're looking for, especially on that day. So Monday is out of the question. Now, coming to Tuesday. Tuesday was an interesting day because we found like after uh, starting from ranging from six, we started, We found out that look uh, from looking at 9 p.m., we decided to go into a filter and the filter showed that there was no TV programming that's related to a talk show airing at 9 p.m. So then we looked previous, and we uh, we looked through previously, like the times before, like 8 p.m., 7 p.m., 6 p.m., um, and so on and so forth. And we found nothing again. Like there was, there was, we couldn't find any TV programming that was a talk show. And it's also interesting to note that the um, the programming at the time is like we do have the Pride of Brit Awards, which is a film. Well, no, it's the Pride of the Brit uh, Britain Awards, which is an awards show. So again, maybe possibly not Tuesday because of that. We wouldn't be able to fit in a, a reasonable time because we don't. We want to stick around between the 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. Don't really want to go to be on 11 p.m. beyond because that's when people really just kind of shut off the television and go to bed as they possibly have um, uh, work the next day. But moving on to... Wednesday. Wednesday is what I felt was the more promising day, uh, due to the fact that again we re we noticed the same issue, the same uh, pattern of there being nothing after the nine pm slot in terms of talk show. But the only thing we could relate to a talk show was around was the Jeremy Carl show, which ended at five pm. But other than that, there was nothing related to a talk show and. We could follow on from uh, different types of uh, uh, different audience. We could follow on from. Uh, we could follow on from. Uh, uh, we could follow on from uh, some interesting shows like possibly Doc Martin, or even go down the route of going through ITV Two and Celebrity Show Mace. It's kind of more of a. Uh, uh, Celebrity Show Mason, there's the 10 pm slot right there for us, which we could go into as it's just two repeats of Family Guy. But other than that, that's what we that's what I feel Tuesday and Wednesday are the more suited for us because of the fact that there is no real time slots for talk shows throughout those days. There's no uh, throughout those days or later on in those days, especially at 9 p.m. where we won't be facing any competition. That's an important thing to note. We will not be facing any competition if we were to air on those days at 9 p.m. And that's that. Also, we so we have like a couple of um, TV uh, channels in mind. We have BBC One, Sky One, and ITV2. I used ITV2 as an example just to move things forward quickly, but we, you, uh, but we could, we felt like we could use Sky One and BBC One as well. But we are going to look into uh, the target, uh, the target audience for those t channels, so we can get an understanding for what our target audience is and what their target audience is and what would be best suiting for us. But that's going to be worked on later. <laughs> 